Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to make something called extend and grabber. It's one of those tools that people use when they need to reach something that is really on the ground and they have difficult time picking it up. Or it's something really high up on the top and they cannot reach it. So again, uh, this is used to pick up things which are either very low or very high. Here's how it works. If let's say I wanted to pick this cup for demonstration purposes, I'll just use a cup from yogurt. Look, I'll use this grabber and look, I just can grab my thing and I can carry it. So if it was really low, I can go reach down without actually having to like go down to the ground, pick it up and I can put it down. Also, I can put it really up high in case if I couldn't reach there. So that's what it's used for. Now, for the sake of making this extended grabber, we are going to use some popsicle sticks. So let's see how many we need. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I'll set this on the side and let's put nine popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Once you'll have nine popsicle sticks, also you will need to use some nails. Let's see how many nails we need. So, for a sake of this activity, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven nails. So these are nice, soft, galvanized nails. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'll need seven nails. Now, also, besides you need the nails and popsicle sticks, another thing which I'll need is some tape. So here is the roll of tape, which I will use, right? It's a, one of those masking tapes that works the best in here. So what do we do? So let's get it started. First of all, I will uh, take some popsicle sticks and on the top of each popsicle stick, I'll put some tape. So I need to put it in three places. One. Okay, we can tear it off. Two. And you also need to put some in the middle. Okay. And you will do it with all nine popsicle sticks. So let's do it. Now, the reason why we need to do it, because it makes them reinforced. It makes them stronger. Look, so I put piece of tape in here, piece of tape in the middle. And I put a piece of tape at the end. So that, that's what I do. Now, when I've done this thing, let me show you, let me probably do it a little bit more and then I'll demonstrate what we do next. Okay, so when I get my popsicle sticks with tape in three places, I'm gonna use some nails. The best way to put nails will look like this. All right. I'm gonna take some cardboard. It is, it works the best if you take a cardboard and fold it in half. See, I have a piece of cardboard. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'll fold it in half. See, right now it has two layers. Now, so if I'll put the cardboard on my workbench. Now, now I'm gonna take one of the popsicle sticks, okay? I'm gonna take the second popsicle stick. So at first, I'm gonna put them like this, almost like making letter X. I'll take one of these nails and I will use a hammer. So again, for the sake of this thing, the one of the tools you're gonna use today is a hammer. And we're gonna hammer it in. See, when you feel your nail went through both popsicle sticks, you can stop, then you can flip this thing over and press it with your fingers. See, the whole idea is like you can even put it on your desk, but the whole idea is that your nail, see your nail, has to get through the whole thing. See, look, like, now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna use my next tool of today. My next tool is called pliers. So here's how I use pliers. While I'm holding these two popsicle sticks like this, I'm gonna put pliers at the tip of my nail and I'm gonna try to bend it. Now, it's a little bit tricky, but at the same moment of time, we need to make sure that our nail doesn't stay sharp because it might be really dangerous. So what we'll do in here, I use my pliers and I bend my nail, see? If I get a good job, my nail now kind of points down so nobody can be poked with it. I'm even gonna go safer than that. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'll put it in here, just making sure that nobody can be injured by the nail that's taken out there. See, all right, so that's what I do. So this is how I connected two of these popsicle sticks. Now, the next thing which I'll do, I will have to do a little bit more. So I'll take another popsicle stick, but this time, this time, I'm gonna put my nails not in the middle yet, 
right? Even though I'll need one, but I'll do it in here. See, so I'll take it, I'll put it again in here. I'll take one of the nails that I had from the beginning of this class and I'll hammer it in. Again, as I feel it went, again, it works the best if I have this cardboard like in two layers, right? So when I hammer it in, when I feel that my nail went through both, you know, through both popsicle sticks, again, what I usually do, I just put it on the cardboard or on my desk and I push it down. So this way my nails are all the way through. All right, so what I do next, let's see. Now I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna bend my nail again. All right, so if you need help from one of your classmates, you can ask for help from some of your classmates. Again, look, it's not that heavy and not that hard if you have enough practice. Now, once your nail is bent, even at least a little bit, just make sure it's not pokey, it's not sharp. Again, we're using some tape to make sure that nobody will be injured. So we just wrap it up with some tape. That's what you have to do. Now, once you got up to here, obviously this project takes a little bit of time. So let me just show you general outline how you have to do it. Again, in order for me not to make this video super long, I'll just show you what I do with these popsicle sticks. So I take the next stick and I'll put it like this. So what I do, I'll use this marker to show you where I put the next nail. The next nail will go in here. But of course, of course, of course, before I'll do it, I'll have to use some tape, right? So again, don't forget, each popsicle stick already had to have some tape on it. I'm only not doing it right now the whole way because I don't want this video to be half an hour, but basically that's what happened. So what I did, as I said before, I put the nail in here. And also, as you remember from before, we will need to put one nail in here, see? So, and this is how you continue on. Now, I'm gonna put this on the side and bring my extended grabber which I made before right which one I have which I made before I started this video one that I showed you the beginning so look and other things which you have to have so as you see see like you have those seven nails as they showing in here but also look see like you have to make the two handles at the end to be extended so to do this thing what I did at some point when I made my grabber again this is the one I'm making right now I will use one of the popsicle sticks and look, see, I'll just put it on the top and I'll tape it to another, right? See, this is how I make my handle longer, see? That's one handle and I'll do the same thing in here, right? So, how does it work? I take some tape and I put it right in here, okay. Once I done this thing, see, like when this is finished, my extended grabber will work. Another thing which you need to do is this, look. See, you have to have these claws in here, otherwise it will not pick up anything. And to do this thing, what I did, I actually cut or broke my popsicle stick in half. So how did I do it? When I did, look, I took a popsicle stick, I found the center, right? Approximately, I didn't even have to be exact, and I just broke it, right? So see, this one did not snap perfectly in half, but it's still good. It's not a big deal. So even if it doesn't happen to be in the middle, so what you'll do, you'll put piece in here, you'll use some tape, right? You'll use some tape and you have to have these claws. This is what's gonna help you pick things up. Again, like this video already is around like eight minutes long. So I'm gonna stop it in here, but I hope you got the whole idea. So again, this is what we are making, right? Just take a look at this picture. You, uh, there is a worksheet that comes with this, so hopefully you can answer some questions which I'll ask you. Let's see, and then your job is to finish the worksheet and to do extended grabber like this. Again, hope it will be functioning so you can use it to pick things up with it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Best of luck to you. Let's see what you can do.